At first, when I didn't know about Gage, I was just like, you have to have a very high caliber of skills to be a part of this. You know, I meet lots of people who say, oh, I'd love to take a drawing class, but I can't draw a straight line. I'm like, well, that's exactly why you should come to Gage. The more I took classes and learned and interned, the more I realized how much of a welcoming space it is here. It's the style of roll up your sleeves and get in there and work with the students, and you're helping to problem solve. And I think that that's been so much at the core of what Gage has offered all of these years. My work has gone places where it never could have gone. Meeting teachers that were actually very engaged in what I wanted to do and really wanted to know how best to support me really helped me be more part of the community and helped me learn a lot about myself. Learning how to pay attention, how to stop and really take in the world, this was the first and probably the most important thing that I learned at Gage. There is a, a perceptual change that happens when we slow down and we just learn to see what's right in front of us. To see the shadows, to see the way the light hits the leaf, to see the way the light hits the rim of a glass. Right now I'm working on a painting of my daughter where the arm needs to be imagined. It's exactly the same in some ways as imagining an entire world because you're thinking about what, what shape would the form take. All of those things, once you start seeing it, it's like People who don't have a ton of income, people who, whose families, you know, for generations have not been able to build up generational wealth should all have access to creating art. I have been going to the art studio, I think since the sophomore year of high school and have a senior now. With Taz, you never really know what to expect, but you know it's gonna be fun and chill and just a way to connect with students that are the same age as you. Most recently, we've begun a tuition assistance program, and that's designed to help folks who just need a little bit of additional assistance to be able to afford classes. I wouldn't have been able to access this space without scholarships. I just simply would not be here. And I think that's something we want. The community know that Gage is there for you. That access, you know, on a personal level has provided me with the opportunity to make my art and, you know, as a potential jumping off point for my future career. It's a really supportive space. There's a lot of community at this school and at Gage in general. I mean, the community here is amazing. It's like what the first thing everybody says, you know, when you ask them, like, what do you love so much about this program? I think the Art Studio is really important as a third space, especially because it's a way for a lot of kids to meet new people and try something new and not be judged for it and we all really rely on each other. It's a very like, your peers are your instructors too. It's the art that connects everyone, even though they might have different backgrounds, they might come from different neighborhoods. We're all here together because we have that connection through art making. I think it's the hallmark of like a, a vibrant urban community if there's accessible places for people to view art, if there's galleries and pop-ups, that's all contributing to a really vibrant space. We really need institutions to carve out those kind of spaces because that ultimately nourishes the community at large. Whether or not you aspire to become an artist, it has so deeply enriched the way I take in the world and the way I give back to the world. And I just think it's a gift that everyone should have access to.